It changes no all of us. I think. I think there was a point when each one of us. Only thinking this morning, each one of us, particularly I think, particularly me, myself, Rick, and Alan, thought each one of us thought we were the reason it was successful. And the only person I think about it really is that doesn't do that and has never done that was John Coglin. Rick, for some reason, certain people got in between our relationship and there was a time in, uh, in Nice Airport one day, he said, I'm fed up being number two. That really worried me at that point. I thought, what do you mean number two? We were, it was always me and Rick. And, and I think managers, agents, whomever, uh, um, uh, wives, girlfriends, we were that close that people found that, and I possibly it upset other people in the band that him and I were that close, and we played with being that close. So what happened is that people, when you've got to split that up, management people at the time, not all of them, had to try and get between Rick and I to manipulate what they wanted the band to do or each one of us to do. And um, I think there were other things in Rick's life. He, he lost one of his children, that was bad for him. He's, there was a lady in, um, in Atlanta that came in the dressing room one night and she came across the room looking at him like that, I know you. And we're both, <laughs> yeah. And uh, he was, we, well, him and I used to smoke a lot. And um, that, the following day, he would never speak about it again. He never smoked again. He just would not talk about whatever happened. And it frightened him. So he went more back into drinking. It got worse than drinking. Then after his child died, it got more and more. So him and I got further and further apart. And then he began to believe, he began to believe it more. And he was a great singer, and he wrote very nice little songs. When I can't see all the reasons, nice little, which I loved. But for some reason, his best bit, he didn't like, he wanted to become the archetypal rock star, which wasn't Ricky. And so that was, sorry, go ahead. No, no, because I've, I've uh, uh, heard you say this before. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that, that he wanted to be that rock star? I don't to... know. He looked it. He didn't need to go there. Everyone looked at Rick and wanted to be him. He had that great look. So many other guys, all the pictures on the wall, so many other guys tried to look that way. He just looked that way. And someone did it with insecurity, became more and more insecure, and he wanted to be this rock thing that he wasn't. And so that was getting worse between the two of us as the years went by. And we were stood out here one day he was so badly drunk early in the evening. And he, and he was trying to convince me, he said, how cool he looks when he's drunk. I said, but you don't. He said, yeah, you don't understand. So he, once he was in that condition, his confidence was there. He felt, which is sad to me, because it wasn't the guy I loved. And that would cause more and more rift between the two of us. I mean, the guy I knew when we first met was fabulous. What were the... How were the good moments in between those periods then? Kind of, were there still good moments on yeah, stage? Yeah, yeah, they were. Fact, he would be himself, and his insecure self. I'd sometimes be in a position where he he treat me like his dad or his mum, and ask me for advice and this and that, and what's going to happen to me? Why don't I? Why is this like this, and why is that like that? Um, there was a time in the O2 about two years before he died. He was really worried about things. And so I'd be in that position, well, why don't you do this and why don't you do that? Yeah, all right. Well, where is that? Well, I don't know, it's yours. It was something business by. He said, well, should, should I know where that is? I said, well, yeah, I thought you'd. So we'll try and find out for you where that is. And as I said, someone along the line knew how to um, find his weakness. And it, uh, and it was being called number two. Really hated it. And I said before that, him and I were just, it's me and Rick, they were the two people in status quo. Um, unfair to Alan and everybody else, but it's how it worked out. But that caused a rift between the two of us. I said, what do you mean? Um, but, uh, I don't understand. So um, that got kind of worse. But they were, of course, they were great times. We would have, and we'd have great conversations. There'd be moments. But then, of course, he'd need his drink and he'd go off and have his drink and then that person would disappear.